Ah, good evening, everybody. If if you heard that sigh, that there that is an omen. Um, this is Hunter here. I'm here with Scott and Colin. These two buff manly men here, gentlemen. How's it going? Ooh, feeling real buff and manly. <laughs> well, good. That's how you should feel. But uh, oh, and by the way, so guys, we were talking about this off mic. We're gonna do a we're gonna have reviews this week for the walk. Uh, Pan, which I'm very excited if you heard our trailer talk on that, and then uh, Black Mass, and then uh, God damn, and uh, but oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Pan is at 49% right now, Colin. <laughs> if that, and it's not wide, and it's not even at wide release, so that's probably not a good sign for the movie. But uh, regardless, so. I'm going to talk about this really quickly. So, Hotel Transylvania 2. I was a huge, huge fan of the original uh, uh, Hotel Transylvania. I thought it was surprisingly fun. Um, I, I would actually even say I love that movie. Um, considering that... Uh, considering that there aren't really a whole lot of Halloween movies that are, like, good... Um, so it was like actually really cool to see that oh there's they can still make you know a good Halloween movie every now and then. Um, with that said, it's gonna make it even sadder to talk about the fact that this movie is dog shit. <laughs> this movie is so <laughs> goddamn bad. I was so mad leaving the theater. I can't even tell you. So let's jump. Well, let's jump in here. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just thinking about how to, like, not want to kill everyone <laughs> in this theater. But basically, uh, so, Selena Gomez, who still looks like she's 12, which is kind of weird, but she plays Mavis, who is, uh, Dracula's daughter, who's voiced by Adam Sandler. And, of course, if you remember, the first time Adam Sandler tried a voice in an animated movie, it didn't go over very well. Uh, Eight Crazy Nights, of course, being that movie. But, um, so, you know, she, so she gets, she hooked up with uh, Jonathan, who's Andy Samberg's character at the end of last movie. So, it was actually really well done, really funny. Uh, this time around, they have a little kid now, and they're all still hanging out at the hotel. So, basically... The plot is Drac is freaking out because their kid doesn't have his fangs yet. Are you are you, are you starting to see how this is kind of stupid? So so he's they like, they okay. call him Drac. Yeah, they call him Drac. So basically he um so basically he's freaking out because his grandson doesn't have his fangs yet, and he's like, oh, like you know. It was like, he might just be a late finger, like, which they say over and over fucking again, which just irritated me in the no end. So, um, the guy who actually originally directed, and he directed the second one too, sadly, um, uh, Jenny Taratowski, who, of course, did the first couple seasons of The Clone Wars, the good Clone Wars, the 2D, and then Samurai Jack, which is one of my favorite fucking cartoons ever, I love that show, um, he did such a good job with the first movie. Like, there's some good sight gags. There's some really good jokes. And in researching this movie, the first Hotel Transylvania, it had, like, three writers on it. Um, this time around, it was written by only two writers. And one of them was Adam Sandler, <laughs> who was not a writer on the first one. And God damn it does it show, because... There's, a, just to put in perspective the jokes in this movie for both of you, so, uh, Jonathan, uh, Selena Gomez's husband in the movie is trying to show Drac how to use, like, a phone, and so he's like, oh, well, you can try texting through Bluetooth, and so Drac's like, oh, okay, and then randomly, just a Bluetooth walks on the screen, and I was just like, oh, god damn it, <laughs> like, and, and honestly, it's shit like that over and over and over again um the only thing that i'm trying to, i'm sitting here trying to think of jokes that made me laugh um there really aren't like that's i think what was so frustrating is that there's just there's so many pop culture references which are really weren't in the first one but there's like you know that poppy music and um 
what's that derp song and everything of that it's going down for real song they play that in here for like <laughs> for like no goddamn reason I'm just uh, like, like I, I could see that being just the absolutely worst possible choice for, to replay over and over again. Seriously, and they play it like a couple. I I, I feel like they play it. They know they play it once, if not twice. But like, there's all this like random ass pop music in here, and like that wasn't in the first one. There was an actual score, but it was just kind of like, oh, whatever. Like, let's just throw in random pop songs. And don't you love these songs, kids? It's like, no, they they don't. And uh, it, uh and and one of the things. And this is really early on, so uh, he's trying to get John, uh, not Jonathan, their kid to bed. I'm not even gonna look up his name. Who cares? But basically, he's trying to get his grandson to bed. And he's like, "Oh, if I show you that I can dance when you go to bed," he's like, "Yeah." And then Drax just starts fucking dancing. I'm just like, "Oh, Jesus Christ!" Like, and this is like 15 minutes in. I'm just like, "Movie, come on." So this movie overall, it's just, it's. There are, there's bad sight gags, and I'm getting more pissed off the more I'm talking about it, but there's bad sight gags, there's, the writing just was not there this time, even though this movie made more its first weekend than the, 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 than the first one, so you know there's a third one fucking coming, which I'm just like, ugh, god damn it, no, so, um, if there's one good thing I can say about the movie... Uh, there are some great voice actors in here. Uh, Steve Buscemi is in this, who plays a werewolf still. Um, they replaced CeeLo Green, because they were like, why are we paying CeeLo Green? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he played the mummy in the first one, and they are just like, whatever, we're not Someone paying. should pay CeeLo Green to do anything. <laughs> yeah, like, he was, yeah, like, they were just like, you we're shouldn't be allowed to accept it. money. He just, he just like, shows up, like, yeah. places. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, CeeLo Green made it, I guess we'll pay him. <laughs> <laughs> so so they so they got Key from Keen Peel to, to play the mummy this time around, and he was actually much better uh, to his credit. Um, I mean, the voice actors do a good job. Um, Nick Offerman, uh, Ron Swanson himself, he plays uh, Jonathan's dad, and he's great in this. Uh, as soon as I heard him, I was like, oh, Ron Swanson is in this. I can at least attach myself to that. But so I saw this Saturday night, right, like early Saturday night, and so surprisingly, I think this movie's been out, I think it's like its third week being out, but that theater was packed with kids and their parents, you know, unlike <laughs> the, the creepy black guy who saw it by himself, but... but, <laughs> but <laughs> the most amazing mental picture I just got. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, like, all these kids running around, and you just like eating popcorn, like don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. I just get these like flashes of like when I go in to see movies by myself. I'm like, man, Hunter does this all the time. <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, you know, in a very nice way, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm> <laughs> it's like, 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 wow, it's probably uh, awkward yeah. sometimes. Yeah, no, for kids' movies, it's always just like, it's like, oh, I'm here to review, like, oh, I need to review this, like, oh, hey there, let's just add you on to Megan's Law real quick before I sell you this fucking ticket, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, this, so, if there's anything I can say, <laughs> the animation was really good on this, but, So, how did, how did the little kids like it? What was their initial reaction? And that's what I was gonna say, is that the kids were, like, I mean, they laughed at some shit, like, that I was just like, oh, god damn it, you dumb little fuckers, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 that blue You dumb little fuckers. Just reviewing you reviewing the movie. <laughs> but, like, I like, want a review of you watching this movie with all these little kids. But, like, the kids, though, they, like, like that Bluetooth joke that I mentioned earlier, <laughs> they were dying at that. I'm like, oh my god, damn it! You That's just gold with the kids. Yeah, the kids thought it was funny, and everyone knows I love puns. And even I was just like, I'm not giving you that one. But those kids, they're like, ah, it's so good. Like, um, yeah. Is... Why wouldn't they make like five more of these? Is dumb. They put in shitty jokes and make dumb kids laugh. It, the, the the joke really I mean the jokes were just they were really bad I mean the two, the two hardest laughs I probably got is um, they go to this old summer camp to train vampires because that exists and basically they have like this really tall tower and so he gets his grandson Drac does and just throws him on top of the tower he's like alright fly and you just hear the kid going wee 
see, and you just hear it getting farther and farther away, and the monster's like, dude, go save him. He's like, oh, no, he's fine. He's like, no, seriously, he's going to hit the ground. He's like, oh, don't worry. And he's just like, God damn it, okay, he's not going to fly. So, I mean, that was probably the hardest laugh I got, and that's in the trailer. You can watch that in the first trailer, so. And if it's even more sad. They fucking brought Mel Brooks's old ass out to play the Adam Sandler's dad to play uh, the Grandpa Drac, and it's just like, Oh, man, and uh, this movie, I, I think I knew it was over when they, uh, Drax started to call himself, uh, 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 what the fuck do you call him, like, uh, Vamp Dad, or, uh, Vampa, that's what it was, they were like, Vampa, it's a combo of Vampire and Grandpa, and it's like, oh, <laughs> god damn it, like, like, it was just like, it was just like, really movie, I, I was, <laughs> Vampa, that's great. <laughs> I was so upset, and I just, the more I thought about it, the more pissed I got, and even sitting here talking about it, I'm getting mad all over it. So is there still the Frankenweenie? <laughs> what? <laughs> isn't there, like, a Frankenweenie? Yeah. There is, yeah. So, well, I thought, isn't that a different movie? Is that yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It was oh, like... okay, I see. So which, is Frankenweenie the first movie? <laughs> <laughs> Hotel Frankenweenie. <laughs> Just so um, there is, so there is or is not a wiener dog that looks like Frank. There's not a wiener dog in this. Okay. Um, then I don't think I want to see it. Um, okay. But that, that was was that a Tim Burton movie I'm thinking of? Frank, um <laughs> You mean with what? the peach? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Wait, what was one? The Peach one? Kid. Jack, Jack and the being, Jack and the Peaches. Peach Stack. Pe- peach stock, peach, peach stock, Jack. I I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Anyway, <laughs> so to get to a rating here, I, this is one of those rare times where I will curve my review a bit because I was sitting there with those kids and they were laughing their asses off. I'm just like, oh my god, it's like you like this, like why do you like this? But um, so I will curve it with the 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 go no, go so. Go with your guns, Hunter. But, look, this is the thing. Like, if you're... This is how I would put this. If you're a parent and you're doing your taxes and you just need something to distract your kids, you could put this on and they'd, they'd, they'd love it, apparently. Like, I mean, I'm sitting there watching it, but I enjoyed the first one. And I even thought, even for kids, that that was... Even for adults, you could laugh at that, but... If you're an adult watching this with your kid, you you would probably just be like, oh man, this is a little painful. So, I'm curving my review a bit just because, like, the kids I saw it with, they they loved it. They really were laughing the whole time. Um, I got maybe two hard laughs and maybe six chuckles, maybe. <laughs> like, in the movies, like, 90 minutes. So, yeah, not a whole lot of laughter coming from me. But, uh... With that said, uh, fuck, I, D plus, that's why I give this, like, I, I'm gonna refrain from giving it a go fuck yourself, even though on instinct I really want to do that, but just because, y- you know what, the first one is better, go fuck yourself, you know what, never mind, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm like, nice. no, no. Like, your kids deserve better than this. Like, seriously, show them Penguins. Show them uh, Box Trolls, which is actually pretty good. Show, show them Frankenweenie. Yeah, Frankenweenie. Show them Frankenweenie. Like, I, I, oh, God, this movie was just so goddamn, like, and I think that's what frustrated me more, is that the first one is so good, and if you turn, if you put this on mute, and you just watch the animation, the animation is beautiful in this. Like, it's so good. And that just makes me even more mad <laughs> that they fucked this up so bad. So, yeah, this is a go fuck yourself. Never mind. Don't see it. It's, it's, uh, but. Ice. <sighs> but anyways, boys and girls, were you forced to take your kids <laughs> to go see Hotel Transylvania too? Uh, let us know, or, or were you the creepy older person who saw it by yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yours truly. Uh, so. Guys, let let us know what you thought if you did see this. I would love to get people's thoughts on this, because it's weird. This is actually trending higher on Rotten Tomatoes than the first one, which I don't fucking understand. Like, the, fir- the, the second one's, like, at 59%, and 
and the new old the first one's like at forty four. And it, and Rotten Tomatoes, you are wrong. You are so goddamn wrong about that. But anyways, uh, follow us on Facebook at uh, like us on Facebook on uh, that the real pineapple. Subscribe to us here on SoundCloud at the real pineapple seven seven five. Follow me on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. And follow Scott on Twitter at Newman the First. Alright guys, thank you so much. This upcoming week we'll have reviews for you for The Walk, which I am fucking pumped about. Uh Pan, <laughs> which I'm also pumped about. Uh The Loft and uh, Black Mask, guys. We look forward to getting those reviews out to you guys and we will talk to you soon. Peace. Meow.